G'day guys, welcome to the first video of 2024. And I figured I'd start it off with what I'm using this year, what I'm gonna be using to create all of these videos and all of the photos that I take and what I take on all the commercial shoots. Basically, I just took my camera bag and I dumped it out onto this table and <laughs> all of the accessories up on that table there. So in this video, we're gonna run through my camera setup and all the accessories that I bring along with me, including all of their specific uses. Some of these things you wouldn't think to have in a camera bag, but you really, you really should. First of all, let's dive straight into the camera, shall we? So what I'm shooting on right now is my EOS R with a 16 to 35. I also usually have my Helix system with a two to five stop or a six to nine. That's my A-roll camera. That's what I shoot the videos on, all the vlogs on, and also I use it to shoot a lot of my landscapes because it is a slightly higher megapixel than my video camera, slash sports camera, slash wildlife camera, which is the EOS R6 Mark II, usually coupled with a 24 to 72 point eight or the 100 to 400. And the reason why I chose this is because its autofocus is incredible, low light functions, amazing, and they hadn't released the R5 Mark II when I needed to upgrade my camera. So this one ticks all the boxes until I upgrade to that one. Next is the 100 to 400. This thing for the size of it is an absolute beast. Weighs less than a beer. If you wanna see my review on that, I've got a video that dives right into how I've used this thing and why I love it so much. Next up is the 24 to 105. It's just a kit lens, but it's a great lens and it's super, super light. So I kind of just keep it just popped in my camera bag in case I need to shoot two different scenes at a similar focal length. And sometimes I'll just take this one and I'll skip the 24 to 70 if I'm doing like a long adventure and I don't want to carry that weight because it's heavy, it, let's be honest. Next up is the Mavic Air Pro 3. I think that's the name of the drone. Just to have in my camera bag, I rarely use it but sometimes you just need that extra perspective, which is also why I have a GoPro 360. Rarely ever use it, but when I need it, it's there. And honestly, those two things weigh next to nothing. After that, obviously, I have a MacBook that I do all my editing on. That doesn't come with me everywhere unless I'm traveling. And same with the hard drive. This, however, is a little case. It's super sturdy, keeps all my memory cards. After that, pocket knife literally because there was a gap on this table and I just carry this with me everywhere. Um, next up is my favorite camera ever. It's the first camera I shot on and it's my old Minolta. I learned to shoot with this when I was 14, 15 and it had to develop all my own film in the dark room at high school. I've kept it with me forever and I love to see more than anything else. Then I've got another Minolta that is just a point and shoot. Love how these photos turn out. Uh, I think I've got the Portra 400 in here at the moment. Honestly, these two, I either take one or the other and it's purely for memories, purely for something, something tangible for me to keep. That's just a personal thing. Uh, you'll probably never ever see any photos from these cameras. Oh, and audio. I use the Rode mic wireless with a little lav mic because I can take it with me and I can walk back and forward and like wander around landscapes and you can still hear what I'm saying when I don't have the camera within this arm's reach. I might also mention the camera bags. I've got my 60 liter Naya Evo and then a 32 liter Naya Evo. This is for more lightweight adventures, day trips, that kind of thing. If I'm going on expeditions, I run with this one. I have beaten the shit out of these camera bags and they are still my favorites to use. They're just built for people like me, built for adventure photographers. So after the cameras, this is what lives in my camera bag. Now, there's obviously other times where I've got avalanche beacons or airbags or that kind of thing that is for the specific adventure. But for now, let's just go over all the things that live in my bag 100% of the time. First of all, let's start with safety. Medical kit. Hear those? They make you feel better. Um, no, but seriously, 
medical kit, everything you need for wilderness first aid should be in one of these. It's not necessarily for you, it could be for someone you love or someone you meet on the trail. Uh, another thing is a Garmin. So this thing I can message anyone, anytime, anywhere in the world. It's also got this little oh fuck SOS button, which I hold and squeeze on that and someone will come get me. It will literally report to someone, anyone off in the universe that I'm fucked up and come get me. This also has come in handy when I've come across hikers on trails and been like, oh, hey, like I, there's someone with a busted ankle and I'll message Parks Canada or whoever. Next thing is a radio. Now this is for more extreme measures. If something really hits the fan and I can tune into the closest emergency radio and be like, hey, someone's dying, come get them. And have never had to use this, but it's always gotta be there just in case. While we're speaking radios, these don't always live in here, but when I'm not in the back country and when I'm trying to like organize shoots, two way radios, just being like, hey, can you move down that lake a little bit more? Just wanna get the photo there. It's, it's better than just yelling across landscapes at different people to do different things. I've also always got my hydration pack. Obviously it's empty, but I fill it up, just stays in there. The next thing would be one of the most important things, tissue paper. I bet you can guess what that for. that's for. But seriously, you'll save someone's day when they need to take a shit in the wilderness and you're like, oh yeah, here you go. Go wipe your butt with that instead of your sock. Yes, I have wiped my ass with my sock. It's not a fun time. Sometimes you gotta do these things. Uh, pen and paper, literally just for taking notes. Then we're moving on to head torch. Obviously, I spend a lot of time out in the dark. That just lives in there. Audio, we're moving on to the camera things now. Right now, I'm using a lav mic and a wireless mic. They tend to die or they don't work in certain situations. I've always got a little dead cat, little baby one. Why I've got $200 bills. Uh, whatever country that I'm in, I will always keep a $100 bill of the neighboring countries. I've had to use this so many times for so many different reasons, like bribing the police in certain places. Uh, yeah, not gonna elaborate on that, but if something happens, it doesn't weigh anything and you've just got the cash rare ready to go just in case. What else have we got? Batteries. Goes without saying, take lots of batteries. All of them charged, and they don't go in my camera bag unless they are fully charged. After that, we've got a little bag of AA and triple A's. We've also got two little tools. These things are super handy. This one is multi-tool, obviously. All of the fun things in there. This one is a photography specific tool. All those little, t those little things that you need when a base plate comes loose or you're like, oh, I need one of those weird hexagon, th just this thing, super handy, weighs next to nothing. And with these two tools, you can pretty much fix anything camera related. Next thing is self timer. Now, a lot of the time I'll use this for selfies and I'll run off into the distance, perch myself on a little spot and be and take that shot. If I don't have that, I'll just run a self timer that just continues taking photos. More on batteries, and then every cable that I could possibly need for charging anything, including having a tiny little spare battery charger, just in case I blow through all of these batteries. After that, iPhone thing. You all know what that is. Spare roll film, my little baby cameras. A universal adapter. Can't tell you how useful this is. It just lives in there because sometimes I end up in some strange places and I need to charge all of this. So that does that for me. Pick design clip so I can clip camera on that side. And then on this side, I have the Garmin and my uh, radio. You might be wondering why I have socks and gloves and a plastic bag because sometimes your socks get wet, sometimes your gloves get wet, sometimes you need a large Ziploc bag to either keep your camera dry or keep, you know what, I actually did a video on that one, so just go and check that out, all the reasons you, could, you should have one of these just tucked away in your bag. But basically, these two, spare sunglasses, my little sunglasses on a rope, they're great, because 
chances are you're gonna either get wet or you're gonna break something and you're gonna need one of these things to fix that problem. After that, I have a sneaky little manila folder with model releases and other documents in there. I just keep that in my camera bag just in case, just in case I get that shot that I'm like, hey, can you just, can you just sign this so I can sell it to whoever? In this big old thing, I have filters. I have all my landscape filters. This doesn't live in my camera bag. This just kind of lives in its own little RCI bag. I've got all of my big landscape filters in there. I just keep that tucked away with me. Then I've got these two in this one. This one's heavier. So I've got all my VNDs in this one. And then UV filters, mist filters, blue morphic filters, ND landscape filters, circularizer polarizers. They're all just tucked away in these neat little cases and they just live in the top of my camera bag. Now, obviously, Joby, Gorillapod, Manfrotto, lightweight carbon fiber tripod. They come with me everywhere, both of those every time because you never know when you're like, oh, I'm gonna use that camera to shoot this landscape. I'm gonna use the other tripod to shoot a time-lapse. Having two is just, it's just super handy. And I know this is a lot of stuff, but it's really not that heavy. The camera gear is mostly the heavy part. These are the things that you need to have with you just in case shit goes wrong. And a lot of the time it does. If you're that guy who's like, oh, I've got that tool. I can fix your camera or I can fix your base plate or I can patch you up. You wanna be that guy. You also could save someone's life. That, you know, that might be, a, might be a thing you should do. Think about it. I think that's it. It's a little crap. I gotta put it all away now. Well, last thing. A lot of the time, I also have this tube light in here. For any of the videos I shoot in the dark, this Loom Cube tube light is amazing. It's really bright though. Ah. All right. Guys, hopefully there's something in here that you should probably have in your camera bag. And if it's been helpful, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Oh yeah, don't forget to do the subscribey thing because there's gonna be a lot of videos this year and a lot of fun times. So get to it. See you guys next week. Okay, now to clean up my house.